My name is Steven. I'm 18 years old and a senior in high school, right in the middle of preparing for college entry exams. Everybody in my family, including relatives, is a doctor. I come from a fully doctor family. Because of that, of course, I was also aiming for medical school. My older brother John was five years older than me, and he's also going to medical school right now. In the future, my parents have said that my brother and I would take over the hospital that they own as equal business partners. However, I was a little uncomfortable about running the hospital business with my brother. John was good in school, but because he was always at the top of his class, he had a habit of looking down on people. John, how are your studies going? Easy. Studying at medical school is as easy as breakfast to me. That's my son, but you shouldn't relax too much especially in regards to your medical license. Do you really think I would fail? Don't put me in the same boat as the other family member over there. I'm gonna get my medical license easily in one go. And after I do my residency at some university hospital with your connections, Dad, eventually, I'm going to work at your hospital and do all the surgeries that insurance doesn't cover and squeeze out money from everyone. That's the default route. <laughs> You're quite the clever guy. However, if you fail, you won't be forgiven. Leave it to me. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? To my father and my brother, the patients were like peasants to them, and apparently, they only saw them as their source of money. My mother was also a doctor, but she also had the same way of thinking, and she was nodding her head at my brother and father's conversation. However, I don't think like my brother. Even if I become a doctor, I want to become a doctor that the patients would be happy with, and they could be grateful to. But before I get there, first I need to be accepted to medical school. That's why now I'm fully deep in my studies. It's January, and today was finally the day of the college entry exam. I was fully prepared for the exam. I know it sounds silly to say myself, but I had pretty good grades in school, and instead of sleep, I put my all into my studies. So even though I felt nervous, I wasn't worried. After this exam day, I'm going to receive offers from a number of medical schools, and then I'm going to go into my dream national medical university. It's gonna be fine. I know I can do it. I need to believe in myself. However, an unimaginable incident occurred that day. As I was crossing the street, a truck that ignored the red light suddenly came crashing into me. Ah! I was hit and thrown across the road by that truck, and in incredible pain. After that, I don't really remember anything. Two months later, time flew by and it was already March. And even though it had been two months since the accident, I was still in the hospital. Although my life was saved in that car accident, the doctor said at one point my life was in danger. Even after I regained consciousness, my whole body was covered in broken bones and injuries. And I wasn't even able to get up out of bed for over one month. Of course, the college entrance exam was the least of my worries. Ah, even though I had no choice, that means I'm not going to college next year. Well, at least my life was saved. So I guess I can study even more for another year and carry my hopes into next year. That's what I thought. However, for my parents and my older brother, that wasn't the case. When the rest of my family came to the hospital room, this is what they said to me, laying in the hospital bed. It's already March, Stephen, and this year, you failed the college entrance exam. So because of that, you're going to be leaving our house. What? I was shocked by my father's sudden words. Wh why Isn't that obvious? It's because you're the embarrassment of our family of doctors. That's exactly right. How can we face anybody and tell them that our son isn't going to medical school? Even though John and all of his cousins have gotten into medical school in one try, Stephen, you're the only one that failed the entrance exam. But even if you say that, I was caught in an accident! There's nothing I can do about it! I was stuck in the hospital this whole time, so there was no way I would be able to get in! What was I supposed to do when they called that a failure? Nothing you can do about it? If you were to become a doctor, how are you going to explain it to people if you caused a medical accident? Are you going to say that the accident wasn't your fault? That there's nothing you can do? Well, that's... No matter what kind of excuse you try to make, failure is failure. 
that this is all because you took the wrong steps in the first place. No way! So that means that you're the failure of the family. That's why your parents are cutting you off. Now you're just dragging us, so hurry up and get out. As our last show of pity, we will pay your medical bills until you are discharged from the hospital. However, once you're discharged, we're not letting you back into our house. You're going to figure out your own life by yourself. Wait, Dad! Are you serious? Dad! Mom! John! But you're my family! Well, as long as I'm here, Dad's hospital future is also secured. So they can just think of me as their only son from the beginning. Anyway, I need to study. So I'm gonna go home. <laughs> well then, take care! Those were their last words. And then my parents and my brother turned around and walked out of my hospital room. I was left alone in the hospital bed, and all I could do was watch my family, my dreams for the future, and my hope disappear. One year later, one year had passed since then, and that year was full of so much struggle that I don't even want to remember it. I graduated high school with nowhere to live, and I didn't even have any guardians to look after me. I didn't think any normal person would be able to imagine that life. But I worked hard, and during that year, I stepped up from becoming an unemployed high school graduate to a full-time employee. Right now, I'm working at a law firm, even though it's small, and I do small tasks around the office every day. When that law firm put out a listing for the job, there should have been a lot of other applicants for the position, but I'm eternally grateful to the lawyer, Miss Penny, for hiring me even though I only had a high school degree. However, now that I think about it, why was I hired? I thought it was strange, so I decided to ask Miss Penny in between work one day. Um, Professor Penny? Oh, Stephen, what is it? I know this is a strange thing to ask, but why did you hire me out of all the applicants? I was unemployed and only graduated from high school. I don't have any sort of certifications, nor did I have any recommendations either. When I said that, Miss Penny chuckled. I do believe I have an eye for seeing people. I thought that you would take your work seriously and that you'd be able to pick things up quickly as well. After working with you these last three months, I was thinking that I made the right decision for you. Thank you very much! Seriously, I couldn't agree more. Ever since you joined the office, my mom is always saying that the paperwork has decreased a lot and that's been a huge help here. Here, Mr. Stephen, some tea for you. Miss Penny's daughter, Miss Page, handed me a cup of hot tea. Thanks, Miss Page, but pouring the tea is my job. I can do that. It's fine, it's fine. I wanted to take a break too. <laughs> Miss Page was currently a college student, and in order to become the successor to Miss Penny's company, she was studying law at law school to become a lawyer. Right now, she works part-time to help her mother, and comes to the law firm about twice a week. But you know, you learned the work quickly, and you seem pretty smart. I'm sure if you tried, you should have been able to go to college. Was it family reasons? Uh, uh... I didn't know what to say. Until then, I hadn't spoken to Miss Penny about my family situation. I didn't want to remember my parents or my brother and I felt like talking about myself was just asking for pity, and I didn't want that. However, Miss Penny asked me with kind eyes, so I felt the urge to open up about everything that happened until then. So that's what happened. I had no idea. You must have really suffered to get here. When I finished my story, I felt like I saw some tears glisten in Miss Penny's eyes. However... <coughs> <coughs> When I looked over, Miss Page was sobbing next to me. Uh, Miss Page, what's the matter? Because I feel so sad for you, Mr. Steven. <laughs> oh dear, Paige, you shouldn't be the one crying. However, I also can't accept what your parents and brother did. Just because you weren't able to pass your college entry exam, I can't believe they would kick you out of the family. Especially when it was because of an unfortunate accident. But there's nothing I can do about it. It's true that in the medical world, one small mistake can cost a life, and perhaps with my one mistake, I'm a failure already. Our law firm handles cases from medical accidents as well, so no matter how careful you might be, a medical accident is inevitable. 
The problem there is the reason behind it. If it was due to a human error or a true misfortune. If it was an avoidable accident or not, that's what we have to be able to see through. For example, if they try a surgery with a very low success rate because of the patient's strong wishes, and because of that the patient passes away during surgery, sometimes the patient's families can try to sue the hospital. But you can't call cases like that an accident. And plus, I'm a lawyer. Even if there were to be somebody who committed a crime, it's a lawyer's job to make sure that they can always get back on their feet and start a new life. As long as you're working at my law firm, I don't want to hear you say that one small mistake that wasn't even your fault makes you a failure. Yes, I'm sorry. I quietly apologized. But then, Miss Penny was silent, as she seemed to be thinking, and a few months later, she opened her mouth again. Hey you, do you have any desire to become a lawyer? Excuse me? L lawyer? I was shot! What on earth was she about to say next? There's no way that I could become a lawyer! I only graduated high school! Do you not know this? There are people out there who have become lawyers after only graduating from high school. There is the option like Paige to go to college and study and go get your masters in law and become a lawyer. But as long as you can pass the law exam and then pass the bar, it doesn't matter whether you only graduated from high school or even middle school, you can still become a lawyer. That might be true, but how many people are there that actually become lawyers just from taking the exams? Who knows? Generally speaking, they say the success rate for passing the law exam is about 3%. 3%? That's a devastating number. There's no way I can do it. For me to become a lawyer? There's no way. If you think it's impossible, then that's fine too. I won't force you. But you know... Miss Penny looked at me with very strong eyes. But you know, Stephen, this is a crucial moment in your life right now. And being thrown away by your family, are you going to live the rest of your life in darkness thinking that you were a failure? Or are you going to give yourself another chance and open up a new road for yourself? Miss Penny's gaze was sharp, and there was power behind her words. And that glare and those words snapped me out of me feeling sorry for myself. That's right. I can't stay like this forever. Alright, I'll do it. I'm going to become a lawyer! That's when I decided that I have a whole 3% of possibility. I'm going to do it. I'm going to become a lawyer, and I'm not going to let myself or anybody say that I'm a failure in life. From there, my days of studying like hell began. I couldn't even compare to studying for college entry exams in high school. Compared to now, that was like child's play. While continuing to work at Miss Penny's law firm, I began studying for my law exam. Of course I didn't slip up on my work either, and Miss Penny was kind enough to explain the law to me with the cases that she had on hand. At night, I remained at the law firm, and I was studying until late into the night every day. After college, Miss Page would also come by, and she would explain the lectures that she attended in college. She would also say, by teaching others that always help me study, she <laughs> she she. Even though she must be tired from her own studies in school, I truly am grateful. Not only that, but Miss Page was also extremely brilliant, so the way that she explained everything was really easy to understand. In any spare time outside of work, from morning until night, I was having a stare down with sample classes. I was lucky to even get two hours of sleep every day. That's what my life was like. And then, seven years later, Eight years after I was kicked out of my own home, I was finally able to become a lawyer! I passed the law exam, as well as the bar, and I became paralegal! I was finally able to wear a lawyer badge on my chest! Congratulations, Professor Stephen. Starting today, you are officially a lawyer. You worked really hard these last seven years. Thank you very much. This is all thanks to you, Miss Penny. And you too, Miss Page. Congrats! Starting today, you and I are both lawyers together! Can't wait to work with you! <laughs> During those seven years, Miss Page also graduated from law school and passed the bar. And at the same time as me, she also became a lawyer. Well then, starting today as lawyers, just like me, I'm going to have you both working plenty. So to begin with, I'm going to give one of the cases that I have to you and Paige so the two of you can work together and give it a shot. 
It's a bit of a big case for brand new lawyers, but it is a case that should be easy to win, so compared to the rest, I think it should be easy to do. Yes! Thank you very much! I'm going to do my best! As a brand new lawyer, I was full of hope! But then, at that moment, one phone call came to the law firm. Yes? This is Penny Law Agency. How can I help you? When I heard the voice on the other end of the phone line, I was shocked! To my disbelief, the person calling was the voice of my brother John, who kicked me out of the family eight years ago! John? Is that you? Steven! Is that you? I finally found you! Listen up! You need to hurry up and come back! Our family's in trouble! What on earth is going on? I couldn't wrap my head around what was happening. Three days later, three days after the phone call from John, my older brother actually came to the law firm. Apparently, he came to receive some legal counseling. I see. So to put it simply, this is the situation, right? The hospital where you currently work that is owned by your parents, as the doctor in charge when you were about to perform surgery, you took the wrong patient and because you cut an organ from a healthy person, you're being sued for a medical mistake. That's right! That bastard! He started saying that he's going to take us to court if we don't pay the settlement fee! Who does he think he is?! I heard that this law firm was really strong when it comes to medical mistakes, so I'm counting on you to make this annoying patient who's trying to sue us or whatever shut up! That being said, in reality, you did take the wrong patient. I do believe that it's only natural for the patient to be angry. But even if you say that, if they didn't want to be mistaken, then they should have written their name on their stomach or something! We have multiple patients and we're busy! I don't have time to be paying attention to each and every patient! What the hell is this guy saying? Why doesn't he put himself in the shoes of the patient who was given a surgery that he didn't need? Anyway, there's no way I'm going to let that stupid old patient get in the way of my brilliant future! Oh, but thank goodness that you're here, Steven. It's a lot easier to work with you if there's family involved. And I'm sure you're going to be able to make the law firm fees a little cheaper with a family discount, right? Goodness, taking me to court as a joke. Everything is just costing me more money. What a pain. John seemed to think that it was a given that Miss Penny was going to take his case. I glanced over at Miss Penny, and with a very calm face, she answered him. I see. I understand the contents of your request. Well then, are you planning on requesting the law services of the Penny Law Firm? What? Obviously I am. That's why I'm here. I hate to say this, but at our law firm, we are not able to accept your request. What? Why not? He must not have in his wildest dreams thought that he would be denied. John was furious and started attacking Miss Penny. You're a lawyer, aren't you? It's your job to use the law when I ask you to! It's true that that is my job, but we also have the rights to deny any jobs that we don't want to accept. Especially in a case like this that is sure to lose in court. I'm sure that there isn't a law firm anywhere that would want to accept it. Lose?! I've actually looked into a couple of medical mistakes from your hospital, and I've also asked around for reviews of your hospital. And my, was it quite the disaster. You act like your patients aren't even humans. You don't confirm anything properly. Your exams are not thorough. You look down on your nurses, and you don't listen to any reports. Taking in the wrong patient for the wrong surgery, I'm not surprised it happened. What? At my law firm, if it were to be an accident that happened out of pure misfortune, and that was unavoidable, I will stand in as a lawyer, in order to protect the valuable stance of a doctor. But for somebody who takes advantage of your position as a doctor, and doesn't even treat humans like humans, I don't want to lift a finger for you. No way! You have to help me! What am I going to do if you say no? When it comes to medical accidents in court, I heard that this law firm hasn't lost! I know! I bet you're just trying to negotiate with me, to make me pay a higher fee! How sad that you only have money in your mind. Both my mother and I, and all of the lawyers who are here at our firm, are on the side of justice. We can't look after an evil doctor! What the hell did you say?! And plus, I'm very sorry, but even though we've listened to what you had to say for legal counseling, we can't accept any requests from you at this law firm to begin with. Why not?! Miss Penny then glanced over at me. That was when I stood up, and I handed Johnny my business card. Apologies for the delayed introduction. My name is Steven, lawyer at Penny Law Firm. I'm currently the lawyer appointed to a case for the patient who was given the wrong surgery due to a mistake at your hospital. Not long from now, 
you will be receiving an inquiry from me in regards to the plaintiff's physical and emotional suffering due to this case, and a notice for the settlement fees. I look forward to your cooperation. What? You're a lawyer? But how on earth? As long as you try, you can start over in life however many times you want. This professor here taught me that. As the representative of the patient, we will be going after your hospital. So if I were to stand on the side of your hospital as your lawyer, then it wouldn't work for us at all. Terribly sorry that we can't be of any help to you. This is going to be Stephen and mine's first job, so we're going to put our all into it. Oh dear. Don't forget that I'm right behind you. The lawyers from my law firm are going to work together, and we're going to bring your hospital down, so I sincerely hope you're ready. No way! Help me! Please help me! If you do that, then what's going to happen to us? Perhaps you're going to become failures in life? <laughs> Wait a minute, Steven! You're my brother, are you? Don't you have any desire to help us? We're your family! Please help us! My older brother got down on his knees to beg me, but I calmly brushed off his hand. This isn't a joke. When I was hospitalized and I needed the help for my family more than anybody, you guys were the ones who refused to help me. That's why I don't have any intention of helping you. I hope the three of you go down in flames together. No way! John collapsed on the spot and he started sobbing and howling. Oh my, it's already been an hour. Your time for this legal counseling is over, so please do show yourself out the door. As Miss Page said that, she forced John, who was spread out on the ground, to stand up, and she tried to kick him out of the law firm. However, I stopped my brother one last time. Oh, John! Wait a minute! Steven! Have you had a change of heart? I knew it! I knew that my little brother would come around! That we still had our family connection! Here, this. With tears streaming down his face, I handed John a piece of paper. What is this? An invoice. For one hour of legal counseling, that's $100. Thank you for your business. <laughs> After that, the results in court were, of course, our complete victory and the plaintiff was able to get a very high settlement fee. When it was finalized in court, the plaintiff and his family had tears in their eyes as they thanked us. When I saw their faces, I thought from the bottom of my heart that I was so glad I was able to become a lawyer. My brother and my parents were stuck having to pay a very high settlement fee, but the incident that they took the wrong patient into a surgery was spread throughout society, and so many patients pulled out of the hospital that they eventually collapsed. My dad, my mom, and my brother, all three of them were left carrying debt and unemployed. Because they'd been wearing their position as doctors on their sleeve and looking down upon everybody around them, not one person wanted to help them. But, well, for those people who didn't even try to help their own family members, it was only a given. Now with nothing but their debt, I heard that the three of them had to move to a rundown apartment and they're having to work hard labor jobs to make ends meet. Well then, we're going to keep working hard. There are lots of people who are waiting for our help in this world. Too many more to count. Yes, ma'am! As a lawyer, I wanted to become a strong and kind person that can continue to help more people in this world. And then I hope I can say it to somebody someday. That you can't let yourself or anybody else call you a failure in life just because of one mistake. <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more! <laughs>